everyone and welcome to Irini's Crochet Corner. In today's video, I want to share with you my own pattern for the pocket shawl. This pattern is worked from one side to the other, so we're going to work on the length as, as we go. And we decide the width at the beginning, so the foundation chain makes the width of the rectangle. And then once we are done with the body, we're going to uh, work the pocket and attach it to the shawl. I've already attached one pocket right here. I'm going to work the other pocket with you on camera and attach it um, on camera to show you how we attach it to the body. The uh, yarn that I used, I used 100% acrylic yarn. The brand that I used is Burnet Premium. This is a worsted uh, yarn, size 4. And for the hooks, I used two sizes to do the pattern. I used a 7 millimeter and an 8 millimeter. So to start the body, we're going to be working with the 8 millimeter hook. For the size, uh, like the um, the size of my shawl, I made my shawl with uh, a side or the width of 45 centimeters and the length the whole length of the shawl is around 125 centimeters so we're saying between 20 inches wide and 57 inches in length so to start the body we need to do a foundation chain of a multiple of four plus one i'm gonna work a smaller sample on camera but for the body of the shawl that I already worked, I did 53 foundation chains to reach um, the, the width that I needed. However, in this sample, I'm going to just work 21 stitches. So one, two. So I have, tw I have 21 chains done. And then to start row number one, I'm going to chain one. That's my turning chain. I don't work into this chain. And then into the next chain, I'm going to do a half double crochet stitch. So I'll yarn over, insert my hook into the chain, pull a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through the three of them. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull a loop, yarn over and go through the three. And I'm going to finish the whole row with found a half double crochet stitches. So this is the end of row number one and to start row number two we will be crocheting one stitch again this is our turning chain turn our work to the other side and then so of course we skip that turning chain and then we work into the next stitch into this stitch i'm gonna do a half double crochet chain one skip one stitch and into the next we do a half double crochet chain one skip a stitch half double crochet and we finish our row with the same pattern And this is the end of row number two. Now, uh, a checkpoint. If you have the correct uh, number of stitches, then you will start and end your row with a half double crochet stitch. To start row number three, we're gonna chain one, turn our work to the other side, skip the turning chain, and into the first stitch, do a half double crochet. Now we're gonna skip that space right here and the half double crochet stitch and into the next space we're gonna do two double crochet stitches. A double crochet stitch is made by yarning over and we're gonna insert the hook into the space, pull a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two and yarn over and go through the last two. We're gonna do another one, yarn over 
into the hook yarn over and pull a loop yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through the last two loops so we make two double crochet into that space now we're going to go back into the space that we skipped right here and we do one double crochet stitch so i'm going to yarn over go into that space and then i'm going to pull this yarn from the back so it's basically turning around the two double crochet that we've just made. So I'm going to pull a loop right here and I'm going to pull it so it reaches the height of the row that I'm working. And then I'm going to finish my double crochet by yarning over and going through two loops and then yarning over and going through the last two loops. So this is my stitch. This is what it looks like from the right side and this is what it looks like from the back side next around this half double crochet post I'm gonna do a front post double crochet I'm gonna yarn over go around this post from the front to the back and then bring my hook out on the front side again this way and then I'm gonna yarn over and pull a loop three loops on the hook yarn over go through two and yarn over and go through two I'm gonna repeat the whole pattern again skip the next space and into the following space do a two uh, double crochet stitches Go back into the space that we skipped and do one double crochet we insert the hook and then we pull the yarn so it's turning around the two double crochet stitches that we've just done and then we finish our stitch like so and then around the half double crochet post we're gonna do a front post double crochet so we yarn over Go around the post from the front to the back and out on the front side again and pull a loop three loops on the hook yarn over and go through two and yarn over and go through two and we repeat the same sequence until we reach the end of the row to finish the last a uh, couple of stitches of row number three so I have two spaces here so I'm gonna do two double crochet into the second space and then go back into the first space and do the double crochet and then you have only one stitch left we're not gonna do a front post double crochet around this one we're gonna do a half double crochet right there so if we look at the row we started with a half double crochet and we ended it with a half double crochet so we have uniform sides as we work our uh, shawl okay let's start row number four chain one turn the work to the other side skip the chain and into the first stitch do a single crochet so I'll go into the stitch pull a loop two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through the two of them now I'm gonna skip one stitch and I'll yarn uh, sorry I'll chain one so skip that stitch and into the middle of these three stitches from the previous row the middle one I'll go in and do a single crochet stitch chain one and around this post I'm gonna do a back post double crochet stitch so I'll yarn over I'll insert my hook from the back to the front to the back around the post yarn over and pull a loop three loops on the hook 
yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two this is a back post double crochet chain one skip the following stitch and into the next do a single crochet yarn over uh, sorry chain one skip a stitch and then a back loop double crochet So this is basically what we're doing in uh, row number four. So we chain one into the middle of the three double crochet in the previous row, the middle one, we do a single crochet, chain one, and then around the post, we do a back post double crochet. Chain one into the middle one of the double crochet set. We do a single crochet, chain one, and then a back post double crochet crochet and into the last stitch right here we do a single crochet okay so we started our row with a single crochet right here and we end the row with a single crochet so we always match the two sides together to start the fifth row we're gonna chain one Turn our work to the other side, skip that chain, and do a half double crochet into the first stitch. Now we skip that chain one space and the single crochet stitch, and into the next space we do two double crochet stitches. Then we go back into the first space and we do our third double crochet stitch. Right there. Then around the post, we're gonna do a front post double crochet. Next, we're gonna skip this space and the single crochet stitch and into the next space we do two double crochet stitches then we go back into that space and we do the third double crochet then a front post double crochet around the post and we keep repeating our pattern till the end of the row just make sure that as you reach the last stitch we don't do a front post like here we do a regular half double crochet so we match the two sides together so this is the end of the fifth row to start the uh, sixth row we chain one and we turn our work to the other side skip the chain one go into the first stitch and do a single crochet chain one and on top of the middle of the three double crochet of the previous row we do a single crochet stitch so from here like a row five and six the pattern is the same the pattern is a repetition of row five and six as we go so chain one skip a stitch and do a back post double crochet chain one skip a stitch and single crochet into the mid middle of the three double crochet chain one back post double crochet and we finish the row with the same pattern here Again, we end our row with a single crochet to match the beginning of our row. 
So let's look at the right side of our work right here. Here is our pattern from the right side. The pattern is starting to show. We keep repeating row five and six till, till we reach the length of the shawl that we uh, are looking for. I've worked out two more rows and then I want to show you how to finish the body uh, of our pocket shawl. So I want to do two more rows at this side to match the pattern that I have here. So to start, I'm gonna be chaining one. And then I'll do a half double crochet into the first stitch, chain one, skip that space and into the single crochet, do a half double crochet. Chain one, skip that space and into the front post uh, stitch, I'm just gonna do a half double crochet on top of it. Chain one, Skip that space, half double crochet. Chain one, skip the space, half double crochet on top of the front post stitch. And we finish the row with that sequence. So this is the end of my row. And then the last row for the body, I'm gonna be chaining one turning my work and into the first stitch I'll do a half double crochet right here into the space I'll do a half double crochet skip this stitch right here and into the space I'll do two half double crochet Skip this stitch into the next space, do a two half double crochet. So basically what we're doing is we're matching the first row. Skip that stitch, two half double crochet. So at the end, I have two double crochet in the last stitch and then on top of uh, the half double crochet of the previous row, I'll just do one double, sorry, one half double crochet stitch to match the beginning. So uh, make sure that you have the same number of stitches that you started with. Uh, here I started with 21 stitches. I have to end my work with with 21 stitches and then this would uh, be my uh, pattern for uh, the pocket shawl body. Okay, so this is the starting and then we work this uh, piece or part for as many rows as we want till we reach the length of um, the rectangle that we want and then we finish with these two rows so that we have two matching sides uh, for the body next i'm going to show you uh, how we work the pocket to start the pocket i'm still working with my eight millimeter hook i'll do my knot and I need a foundation chain of a multiple of four plus three. I'll, for my pocket, I know I did, uh, like the, for the first pocket, I did 23 stitches. So this is four.
so here are my 23 stitches Oops, I, I need to repeat the last one now to start the first row we're gonna chain one skip that turning chain and into the next stitch do a half double crochet and finish the row with the same half double crochet stitch so this is the end of the first row to start the second row i'm going to chain one turn my work to the other side and then into the first stitch i'm going to do a half double crochet and then around then the post of the second stitch or actually around the post of the next stitch right here i'm gonna do a front post double crochet and i'm gonna skip the stitch right behind it and then into the following stitch i'll do a half double crochet and a half double crochet into the next two stitches so we started with one half double crochet one front post double crochet right here and then three half double crochet next around the, the following post i'll do a front post double crochet if you are confused where to do your front post double crochet count three posts from the previous front post double crochet so count three and on the fourth you do your front post double crochet skip one stitch at the back and then do three half double crochet one into each stitch next a front post double crochet skip one stitch and go into the next and do a half double and two more and we keep doing the same until we reach the end of our row So we have two stitches remaining at the end i'll do a front post double crochet and then on the last stitch or in the last a stitch i'm gonna go in there and do a half double crochet okay so here is the end of my second row now to start the third row i'll chain one turn my work to the other side and do a half double crochet across the row so all the odd number um, rows will be regular half double crochet across the row so this is the end of my third row now to start the fourth row and this will be our repeat to all the even uh, number uh, rows i'll do a half double crochet at the beginning of the row right here and then i'll do a, a treble a front post treble crochet if you haven't done a treble crochet before or a triple crochet before we do i'll just show you from the beginning here so we do two yarn over around the hook and then because it's a front post double uh, sorry front post triple crochet or front post treble crochet i'll go below my row my current row with two rows 
So I'll locate the front post that we did, two rows below, and I'll go around that post from the front to the back and then out on the front side again, this way. Pull a loop, pull it to a little bit high to the end, to the height of my uh, current row, and then yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two loops, and yarn over and go through two loops. We skip the stitch behind it and we do three double crochet one into each of the next three stitches next I have a, a, a front post travel crochet so two yarn overs and then around the post from the front to the back to the front again pull a loop and then finish the treble. Skip the stitch right here. And then three, sorry, I think I skipped. No, I, actually I'm right. Three half double crochet. So we keep doing the same sequence till the end. This is the pattern for the pocket so all odd number rows are done in plain half double crochet stitches and the even rows are made of um, the sequence of a half double crochet then a front post treble then a three double crochet stitches and a front post uh, treble so this is what uh, the pattern for the pocket looks like i'm gonna be repeating the same uh sequence of the previous two rows until i reach the height that i need uh the size of the pocket the first pocket that i did was 24.5 centimeters by 19.5 centimeters again um the the size of the pocket is something um like you can play around with uh, same as the the shawl itself so if you want to make it bigger or you may want to make it smaller um, all you have to do is just increase the uh, number of foundation chain uh, just make sure that you, you start the foundation chains with a multiple of four plus uh, three as we have agreed in the beginning um, I'll show you, I'll work the rest of the pocket off camera and then I'll show you the last two uh, rows, how I'm going to finish my pocket and then we will uh, join the pocket on the shawl together on camera. So now I've worked my pocket and I've reached the height that I need and I'm ready to do the last two rows. So I'm going to switch to a 7mm hook and start the last two rows. I, I have chained uh, the turning chain already so I did a chain one and then I'm gonna turn my work to the other side right here and I'm gonna do a front po uh, sorry a front loop single crochet. So if I look at the stitch from the previous row you, you're gonna see a V stitch right here. The loop out towards the outside this is the back loop and the loop towards me is the front loop. So I'm gonna go into that front loop and I like to take this loop as well with me. This is the third loop for the stitch. So I'll go into that loop and the front loop right here. So now I have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, go through the first two loops. So two loops on the hook yarn over and finish the single crochet stitch next here it is this one and that one and I'm gonna finish the row here I finished my row now I'm gonna do the last row I'll chain one turn my work to the other side Okay, and now I'm going to do this row into, uh, like I'm going to finish the row with a back loop single crochet. So I'll go into the back loop, pull a loop, and 
finish the single crochet stitch back loop only single crochet stitch so here is my pocket and um, so I'm ready to cut my yarn <coughs> excuse me uh, so when you're cutting the yarn leave a very long tail because this tail is what we're gonna use to sew you the pocket to the shawl so leave a long tail this is the side of my pocket uh, sorry the side of my shawl and here's my pocket and to place the pocket I'm gonna try to align it so that these ribbings here go along the third ribbing on each side of my shawl so one two and then three so I'll put my shawl right there and it should be matching on the other side as well now at the bottom remember the second row that we did here that has the spaces so my pocket should be right on top of that space or that row so this is where i'm gonna be sewing my pocket and then i'll just go in and start sewing as i go i kept a very long tail to um so it, it's enough to uh, do the three sides of the pocket and this is uh how it looks like after I've joined the pocket. I hope you've enjoyed uh, today's project and uh, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Take care.